Nearly everything we do creates waste. The homes we build, the food we eat, the clothes we wear, all contribute to the growing pollution problem we face. But in nature, nothing is wasted. What if we could do the same and turn waste into new products and materials where everything is reborn, reused and recycled? To aid these urgent efforts, the Airshot Prize seeks to support and scale solutions to help repair our planet within the remainder of this decade. From finding solutions provided by nature itself, reinventing existing products, or even changing the way we think about our relationship with our possessions. These are the finalists for the Airshot Prize to build a waste-free world. One of the most recognisable and prevalent waste products is plastic. It's used almost everywhere and is found almost everywhere, even inside our bodies, ingested by the food we eat and building up in the entire food chain. It puts the entire ecosystem at risk. What if we could eliminate the need for plastic? But one company has turned to nature for a solution. Whilst at university, two friends saw the growing plastic crisis and looked for the answer in a rather unlikely place. I'm Pierre Pallier, one of the co-founders of Notpla. We develop packaging solutions made from seaweed and plants as an alternative to single-use plastics. People use plastic in lots of occasions where it's not really needed as a material, but it's cheap, it's convenient. Uh, what we want is to change this with a natural solution that doesn't require a change of behavior and is much more natural and easy on nature. At Notpla, we've developed a range of packaging solutions. We've got OHO, an edible sachet uh, for marathons and festivals, We've got a coating for takeaway food containers. We've got films for flexible sachets um, and seaweed paper. I think plastic pollution is a massive problem in terms of environmental challenges. We are dumping a huge amount of this material that is indestructible into nature without really understanding the consequences. Plastics find its way into the food chain very easily. When it's small microplastics uh, floating in the ocean, it gets into microplanktons and then eventually into fish ourselves, we find it now in our blood, so it's really getting everywhere. We were really inspired by the way nature makes these elegant shapes and uses all these natural materials and how we could translate that into packaging. And eventually we stumbled upon seaweed and found that it was actually a really interesting material uh, to use for packaging. Today the Notplat team is made of 65 people, we're developing multiple products. Some of them, we are starting to make them in the millions. So it's really exciting to see some of that impact, some of those products being used out there. But there's still a lot of work to continue to develop the material if we want to have a global impact with what we're doing. There's still so much we don't know about seaweed if we want to use it as a viable packaging solution worldwide. So we really want to have more scientists, more engineers working on this problem. What gives me hope is that nature has all the solutions already. We just need to take a hint from all the things that has already been created by nature and with science, engineering, design, we turn it into useful applications for humans, but everything already exists in the playbook of nature. Replacing plastics with plants is an enterprising way to cut down on waste. But plastic isn't the only product that can cause problems. We use leather to make clothes, shoes, furniture and countless other essentials but it's an incredibly wasteful material to produce. By recycling used and dead flowers from religious temples in India, Fleather are on a mission to reduce a major source of waste on our planet. Hi, I'm Ankit Agarwal. I'm the founder of Fleather, where we collect waste flowers from temples and convert it into a material that behaves exactly like animal leather. We are calling it Fleather. Fleather has all the properties similar to animal leather in terms of tensile strength, elasticity, insulation. You can even tune it to have any 3D features, colors, prints or patterns. Fleather solves multifold problems. First, the deep environmental footprint of animal leather. Second, the inhumane animal slaughtering. Third is the pollution caused by ceremonial flowers in rivers in India. Every year, more than half a billion Hindus, we go to temples to worship. We offer nature in its purest form, flowers to our gods. But hardly does anyone think what happens to these flowers afterwards. Every year, we Indians put in about 8 million tons of waste flowers in the Ganges that create a havoc in the fragile ecosystem of the water body, causing irreversible damage. More than 420 million people are dependent on this river for their livelihoods. The pollution in this river affects all of us. 
By reusing old temple flowers, Fleda removes a major waste problem for the people of India and the implications for the environment are huge. Through rethinking our relationship with waste, we can work to solve this crisis facing our planet. When we humans come together, we can make any and everything possible. And one city in Europe is tackling this problem on a much bigger scale. The city of Amsterdam are aiming to reduce their waste output dramatically. And to do this, they are looking at how waste products can be recycled, repaired and reused in an innovative circular economy. My name is Christian Norde. I work for the city of Amsterdam as a policy advisor on sustainability. Uh, two years ago, we developed a circular strategy that really tries to combine the ecological and social uh, effects in dealing with climate change and also creating new policies for that. What is special about it is that it is a model that tries to encompass the ecological standards, but also the human rights basically are taken into account in creating a thriving place for, uh, for its citizens. Basically, we're trying to ensure to create a healthy planet and also happy people within. We're trying to go from a use both waste, economy to uh, use reuse and to create new systems that allows us not to just dispose of the things we use in our daily lives, but really see how we can create a, a circular economy that protects the environment and materials that we use. But the basic principle is that we don't create any waste. Well, the big aim, uh, first of all, is become fully circular in 2050. So that sounds like far away, um, but I think when you look at it, it's 28 years to really change that system and also the uh, dependencies on a national and global level. That is a huge task already. I think it's absolutely pivotal that we really, really uh, do the best we can. Anything that we can do will improve living conditions and uh, in general, I think, uh, society as a whole. The waste problem is building across our planet. But these three finalists have shown that there is hope and that we can rethink our relationship with waste. We can turn to nature for a solution and we can work together to build a waste-free world.